Hello everyone. I have this mold that I have been holding on to. It's this set of hands. I've seen it before. I got it on Amazon. I will link all the products that I'm using below in the description if you want to see any of them. So I've been thinking about this one for quite a while because it holds about 16 ounces of resin and I do have deep pour resin and I'm just kept thinking, what do I want to do with this? What do I want it to look like? And then I had a thought. I have these little rocks, these little pebbles that I have been sitting around. And I thought, well, if I pour all these rocks into here, it will take up a lot of this space and I won't have to use deep pour resin. And I probably won't have to wait the two or three days for it to cure. So what I did was I filled all these rocks into this mold to see how many I would need. And now I'm gonna mix up some normal resin, one to one ratio, and I'm going to coat all of these rocks in that. And there really isn't a whole lot more room for resin when these rocks are in there. So let's see if this works before I use 16 ounces of resin on these hands. So you guys ready? Let's go. Okay guys, so I've mixed up six ounces of resin. I really don't know how much is going to fit. Now the dilemma I'm finding is if you knew me, I do live in Southwest Florida. However, we have turned our home here to look like a cabin. So since these hands are for me, I wanted to fit something in, obviously, that would fit into my house. However, the pebbles are great for rustic. But like my name says, I love glitz and glitter as well. So I am contemplating adding a little bit of this iridescence glitter into this. I'm not sure if you're going to see it with the rocks though. So I feel like I'm going to add just a little bit just to see what happens to the resin before I add a lot. I don't know what it's going to... Oh, that looks pretty got a little shimmer to it. I think I will add some because I think you'll be able to see it. Let's just add a little and see what happens. I feel like you'll be able to see it through the rocks. So I love rustic, but I also like pretty. So there's a little dilemma that I face. So I'm just going to, yeah, I think that'll, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think it'll work? I have no idea. So I'm just going to pour, let me get this out of the way. I'm going to pour this into here. And if we have leftover, we have leftover. It's okay. I'll put it into another mold of some sort. So let's just get this mixed up. I'm going to go grab my spatula real quick over here. Sorry. And I just, I'm going to mix this to try to keep any bubbles out. So I just want these all coated. There are a lot of rocks in here. This thing is going to be super heavy when I'm done. I don't know. We'll see. This is an experiment before I waste, like I said, not really waste, but come up with another idea to use 16 ounces of my deep pour resin in this mold when I honestly don't even know where I'm going to put this mold when I'm finished. Okay, so it's all coated. I think I'll take my alcohol and I'm going to spray it inside just because I'm afraid of bubbles. And I don't want, I don't know if I'll be able to reach the bottom when I pour these in. But you know what? Let's see what happens. So I'm just going to, I guess, wiggle them down to the bottom. I'm not going to put them all in at once. Kind of like the seashell mold that I did recently on my channel. You can go check that one out where I did the bottom half with um, some gold shells. And I really just crushed them all into the mold before I filled it all up to make sure they were all down in there. So I'm just going to kind of mimic that same thing here on this one and see what happens. I, I don't think we're going to see the glitter though. That's disappointing. I don't really see it right now. Because I really do love glitter. And I'm hoping I have, I think I have enough resin. I don't know, like I said, we're going to learn together. So if you're watching this video, it must have come out okay. Or 
I'm showing you mistakes. Because I will tend to do that. I mean, why show you only things that work? You have to learn as well, just like I'm learning. I haven't been doing this for maybe one year so far. So I'm still learning from all of you guys on YouTube as well. I'm wondering if I need more rocks now that I put the resin in. We shall see. I hope not. I'm going to get them all out though. If you haven't seen my video on how I clean these containers while they're wet, you've got to check it out. It is a game changer for you new ones who don't really know how. Some of you will let it dry until the next day and there is an easier way to do that. So I will link that video below if you want to see how I clean these containers in like two minutes. Done, ready for the next batch without waiting. Look at that. I need some more rocks. I wonder how I'm going to mix them in. I will be right back. Okay, so what I decided to do was take some of them out of here because I didn't want to mix more resin. So I took some out of there that was already wet and I put them in with the dry ones in this container and I'm just mixing it together to get them coated. I'm thinking I should mix up some more resin just because I want this all to stick together and I'm not sure if it's going to happen with just that six ounces. I think I need to fill in all these little cracks and crevices with some resin. So after I get all these rocks in, I will mix up a couple more ounces and pour that over all of this. And this, remember, this is the back, so you're really not going to see the back but I'm kind of OCD about things and I want them to be nice on each side if possible. Oops. So as you can see, everything's coated, but it's not full of resin. So I am going to go ahead, turn you off for a moment and go mix up some more resin. Be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. It's literally midnight here. I'm the only one up playing in my resin room. If you want a tour of this resin room that we just finished, I'll put a link below. I literally poured my own resin countertops in this place. I love it. I'm in here very, very much. Like if people don't know where I'm at, they just come in this room to find me. So I mixed up six more ounces. So now I'm at 12 ounces of resin, which I was trying to avoid that much. And it looks like I'm not going to avoid it. And I did add the glitter in. And if we don't see it, we don't see it, but we can say we tried. So I'm going to just kind of dump this. And I'm hoping I didn't waste six ounces. I'm assuming it's going to seep through. And I think I'll help it get to the bottom. Yeah, I see I didn't need six ounces. That's okay. I always can make something else out of it. I always have little freebie giveaways for people who order. So that's what I will do with the leftovers. What do I have left? I have, oh my goodness, I have four ounces left. I'm just going to try to squash it in every little nook and cranny. And that would be cool if you could see the glitter when it's done. I can see it on this back here. Pour a little bit more in there. I think that is going to be enough. I'm just going to make sure it's flat because you can't sand down any rocks. Maybe I'll just dome it. If I dome it, if you dome it well enough, like I do on the coasters, you won't have to trim any edges. So it's, it really will hold more. Maybe I will do that. And I don't have to worry about trimming. If 
any of you have done this mold, I would love to see it. I was trying to get inspiration on YouTube and there's not a whole lot out there that have done this mold on YouTube. I mean, I was going to do glitter, but glitter doesn't really, as much as I love glitter, I can't really use that in my house without it being rustic. So I don't want a torch because I don't want to ruin a mold. I got this mold off of Temu, T-E-M-U. I'm new to that place. I did not know about it until recently. And I had ordered, I've ordered several molds from them now. And every one of them I was happy with. Like, I'm really happy with the quality. I'm not trying to push them business. I don't know anything about them. But I have to say, I am happy with the quality of the molds that I'm getting from there. I've ordered glitter off of there and I've ordered mica powders. Make sure you don't torch after you spray the alcohol or it'll set it on fire. I think that is domed perfectly. I do not think we will be. Oh, I'm so excited to see this. I have no idea how long this will cure. How long this will take to cure, I should say. It's so big. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to find something to do with this. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the unmolding. Okay, guys, it's the next day. Actually, it's not even been 24 hours because I did this at midnight. And right now it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. But I have the extra resin that I used yesterday. I added some of this glitter and I made, I'll be making one magnet. This is the magnet, a little seashell. It's cute. And then I finish the rest. This is the bottom of a jar. So next time I have one ounce of extra resin, I will do the lid. But I just save these jars and I just give these away to certain people. But these are cute for extra resin ideas, especially if you have, <laughs> I had two ounces left yesterday, which I don't ever usually have that much. But that's the bottom of the jar. It's cute. It'll hold earrings or rings or whatever. Okay, now for what we've been waiting for. I have no idea how hard this is going to be to get out. I do see I have some trimming to do, even though I didn't think I was going to have to. So, it's coming out fairly easy. Like I said, I'm pretty happy with the molds that I've been getting from Timu. Oh, it's a little stuck right there. This one is heavy. I hope it worked. I really don't want to have wasted this resin and all these rocks that I had. I did not use my torch at all. I did not want to ruin this big mold. So if it's sticking, it would be because it heated up from being too thick. I did feel it last night and it was pretty hot during the curing process. Oh, nope, I got it out. Okay, it's nice and clean. All right, you guys ready? Let's see. Ah, look! Can you see the sparkle? You can see it. That is so cool. I wasn't sure if I had rocks in these fingers, but what happened was I have white rocks in these fingers. That's why I couldn't see through it. That looks so, and it's pretty much the size of my own hands. The back here, this has a little bit of trimming to do, but not very much. I just don't want to cut my hands when I'm using it. I'll just use my X-Acto knife. Let me go grab that, and we'll do that right now. I might also, a deburring tool, if you haven't used one of these, these come in handy. They are tricky though because the top does spin. Most people don't know that it's supposed to do that. But I'm just going to try it with this. While it's still like fresh out of the mold and still a little bendy, which it's not bendy, but it's easier to trim when it's right out of the mold. See how easy that's coming off? Just don't cut your finger. I hope I don't cut my finger. 
on camera. That would be terrible. There's not a whole lot around the edge, but just a little bit. And it's pretty much that easy to come off. Now, I will link most everything that I used down in the description below, along with some extra videos for you that you might be interested in that are similar. The ones that I mentioned earlier in the video, I'll put all those down below too. I do appreciate anyone coming in to watch these videos. I am new to YouTube. I've only been doing this for a couple, about a month now. If you seem to like the videos, please subscribe and help me out. I have not reached my first goal yet. It takes quite a long time to get people to subscribe. I understand. But I do do appreciate anyone subscribing. That way I can, you know, get a little help making some more tutorials for everyone. I do enjoy doing it. And I get into a little bit of everything from molds to tumblers. You can even find me doing cake decorating on my channel. I also have been doing keto for five years. So I have a keto bakery. You can find keto recipes on my channel. So I kind of have a little bit of everything. Mostly resin though because it's so much fun. Anyway. That is that. I will put some final pictures in right after this in just a second. And I'm going to put a few different things to see what it looks like holding different items in the house. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day. If you try this, let me know. I'd love to see it. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.